The Battle of Holy Apostles Monastery was an armed conflict between Ottoman Empire forces and Armenian militia at the Holy Apostles Monastery near Mush, Ottoman Empire in November 1901. Chapter 1 Background By the second half of the 19th century, living conditions for the Armenian population in the Mush Valley had become intolerable. Added to central government official and unofficial taxes and dues, and Kurdish chieftains extorting their traditional tributes, were predatory Kurdish tribesmen given an official status after being incorporated into the semi-regular Kurdish cavalry units known as the Hamadiye. As a result, thousands of Armenian farmers lost their lands and eked out a living as transient hired laborers or migrated to Constantinople and other cities to live in impoverished, squalid conditions. The repeated failures of promised reforms by Constantinople led to some Armenians initiating local measures for self-defense. The Social Democrat Hunchakian Party, and Armenian Revolutionary Federation were two Armenian political groups active in the region. After the massacres of Armenians in Sassan in 1894, and the more widespread massacres in the plain of Mush in 1895 and 1896 during the events known as the Hamidian Massacres, the political activity of the 1880s developed into armed self-defense units, known as Fedi, who used the mountains as safe havens and as areas for political agitation. In 1899 several Armenian Fedi commanders were killed, and Androniko Zanian was given the leadership of all such groups within the Sassan district of Beatlis Vilayet. Under Andranik's command were 38 villages. Chapter 2 The Battle In November 1901 Andranik came down from the mountains with some 30 experienced Fedeyin, and some 8 to 10 peasants from Zronk village. Pursued by Turkish armed forces, Andranik's men were eventually cornered and on November 20 they barricaded themselves in the Holy Apostles Monastery located to the east of Mush. A regiment of five Turkish battalions, some 1,200 men, commanded by the Pashas Ferik and Ali, began besieging the fortified monastery. During this period the Turkish army had heavy losses because of cold weather and epidemics. After 19 days of siege, and surrender negotiations in which Armenian clergy as well as the headmen of Mush and foreign consuls took part, Andranik and his men succeeded in secretly leaving Arakalot's monastery and moved in small groups back into the nearby mountains. According to Leon Trotsky, Andranik organized the escape, by dressing in the uniform of a Turkish officer, he went the rounds of the entire guard, talking to them in excellent Turkish and at the same time showing the way out to his own men. Chapter 3 Aftermath. After breaking out of Arakalot's monastery, Andranik gained a legendary reputation amongst the province's Armenians. Andranik is not a human being, he is a ghost, Turks used to say after he disappeared. The Kurds believed that when at night Andranik took off his coat, many bullets fell from it. Andranik commanded during the Second Sassan resistance in 1904, then retreated with his men into Iran, resigned from the Dashnak Tsatun and thereafter travelled to Europe, where he participated in the First Balkan War. In 1924 in Boston, Andranik published his memoirs, The Battle of Holy Apostles Monastery. Of the events he wrote. It was necessary to show to the Turkish and Kurdish peoples, that an Armenian can undertake a gun, that an Armenian heart can fight and protect his rights.